Generic greetings and welcome to train station renovation. Today's beverage is a nice relaxing cup of chamomile tea. Hopefully a nice compliment to a game that should also be quite relaxing. A game where you go to an abandoned train station and clean up, tidy it up and indeed do it up to put it back into more of a preservation type order rather than a sort of full running one. But either way, this is a game I've been looking forward to for a little bit of time because, well, train station renovation sounds like something I would want to check out and indeed I have. However, I've only played for about 15 minutes because this is the pre-release demo. The game is due out on the 30th of of April and hopefully I'll be checking that out when I can but this is as I said just the demo so there's a tutorial and the first map which we will take a look at together and like I said hopefully this will be quite a relaxing and chill experience which is I think what a lot of us need at this stage anyway so let's just have a quick look in obviously this is the demo version as I said so not representative of any sort of final product I will try to look at that when it does come out but either way let's have a quick look around at this quite small station perhaps branch line or something looking at the houses and such I'm gonna guess uh, not you UK, certainly with the massive expansive thing there, but anyway, we can see we've got these two uh, two log carriers here and we've also got electrified line there obviously lots of bushes and shrubbery if you try to run out I believe it does start shouting at you yeah we're not going to do that these points here for where we can place some containers to put rubbish in we've obviously got things like some why is it always like stutter when you move around in these type of games I don't know why especially when you move sideways you can really uh, tell at certain times like that anyway uh, we've got like some wood planking here to remove we've got like bricks what's it called uh, cleanville well I think it's called uh, Dirtyville at this stage because it is fairly garbage. Let's just uh, press Q here and that'll do a little scan and show us where all of like the rubbish is. Anyway, we do have some objectives you can see on the top there. It says cut the padlock. So there will be a padlock into perhaps one of these areas. Actually, can we open that one? Let's open that one. Oh, yes, we can actually open it here. So this is looks to be the sort of uh, station office and yeah, there's lots of rubbish there. You can pick all of this up and we'll be doing this quite a bit. But I don't know if we'll do a full... Um, a full sort of clean up in this video but we'll see how we get on you can see there's like oh yeah there's there's some cobwebs and some things broken there and yeah just all sort of rubbish and garbage that we need to move and pick up and I'm guessing we have to also buy stuff to make it better but there you are anyway a quick rundown through here like I said I'm just picking up some random bottles and all the garbage that you tend to find around here looks like there's been, been some people coming after it's been after it's been sort of shut down and such, we need to get some mops and we'll need to clean up a lot of other things as well. But we're just picking up some of the detritus that's just, just sort of strewn around here. And it does say break the cut the padlock so I'm just having a quick look where that may be we can go at the back of our truck here and we may have yet yeah, we do have a pair of ball cutters so I'm just going to run up and see where this thing may be so I'm looking around for a padlock it doesn't say there's one there but I can open it and yep that's that's the toilet and uh, with an outdoor sink classy um <laughs> we're gonna go around here and I might have to move that one there can I pick that up no I can't I can actually hold middle mouse and go to hands there and then pick that up just move it over here drop that phone now and once again there is no no padlock there ah there's a padlock there so that'll be I think for the power so what we'll do is we will cut that padlock there we go that's now cut and I'll go back to hands there and we can open that up and ah yeah there's a brick there and let's pull the main one on and oh no we can't actually do that insert the fuses so where are the fuses ah there we go there's some fuses that are now in and then we can turn that on and we now have power shame all those don't green because that would be quite good anyway we'll close that on and it's telling us to fix the socket but if you right click on that yes we do actually have some power now so that's good so we can actually start using some power tools a well not that a we have any power tools at the moment and b not that you actually need power to use it because well it's not like that we don't have to trail extension cords or anything like that to, to different areas. So as I'm going between these different areas, as you can see, I'm just going to pick up all of the rubbish. And Oh, we now have a bag, so I should probably sort that one out. Actually, what I'm going to do is get a skip and put it in there, or container as it's called. Well, I don't know it's a skip. And you can see it's in different colours there. The reason for that is that... Um, well, if I go over here to buy container, you can buy mixed or segregated. If we go to segregated, you can see that we have different bits in there. So it's like cardboard, plastic and metal, and then a glass. So this one is yellow, so color-coded. We'll place that in there and drop it. And I think you actually get some money. Yeah, you get some money for, for doing that as well, for recycling. So pretty good. So we'll drop that in there. And we will continue into here. And we'll see if we have any lights. I'm just wondering 
about the layout. So you'd come in here, would you? And then come to here, the ticket office, perhaps? That's how it would work. And, oh, that's that's also quite broken. Let's say dismantle there. We need a crowbar. We do have a crowbar, I believe. Yeah, we can switch to crowbar and just... Um, Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's that's that definitely breaks when you <laughs> when you when you hit that there. Uh, some of this we can't break, but some of it I will try and just break down. If it's all like garbage like that, we don't need that. Uh, these are actually asking us to pick them up, so I'll check it out later on. Anything in here that's like say a bit a bit broke or falling a bit, so I'll uh, take apart. Oh, there's loads of bottles on the floor as well. Um, it says fix the socket and this is highlighted. Ah, there we go there. So we do need to, it says dismantle. We don't want to do that. We want to use a wrench, I think, which is a bit dodgy, but there you go. And then we'll, yeah, we actually put the lights on. There you go. I wonder if it actually alters that. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. And what is that? That's a very blurred photo. Or they were possessed at the time. Or the camera was just doing this. Uh, <laughs> who knows? Um, nice little vintage stove there as well. Okay, so we'll pick that up there and it's asking us to, it says tasks completed on the left. So we know that we've completed most of the taskings, however, there's more to do. So let's go over to, I'm guessing a crowbar would be this for this one? No, crowbar to say hands. So pick that up and we can move it around. God, we must have some strength that we can pick up some reinforced concrete. So concrete with some rebar in it and we can pick it up and move it around. Let me just dump that there and instead I'll buy a container for mixed and this is allowing us to just go and put this uh, garbage in there like so. Um, some of this plastic as well. I don't know if this plastic like that can be placed in the plastic one over there, but I'm just going to use that for all of the small items. Anything big, I will. Actually, will it go in there? Will it work? And, oh, that's something I... Ah, uh, minus two. Okay, that's, that's minus. Um, if I put it in the plastic one, will it work? Yes, alright, so if you put it in the wrong one, you get fined, essentially, so that's understandable. That is, that is like a metal barrel. Um, ah, you see that there? It's it's actually stuck now. Uh, we can right-click to clear it. Ah, okay, so we probably don't want to do that. Where would wood go in this mix-up? Uh, nowhere, I don't think so. We'll place it over here. Obviously, as you uh, play the... Oh, that's, a, that's just some black bags so they're probably just like you know just complete mix mash of everything tires will also place in here uh, yeah I i'm guessing in the full game you'll have a lot more well i know that there are a lot more stations and there'll be a lot bigger as well i'm sure i can can i break these down if i press q it highlights it then you can see on the top right there it shows you items to pick for placement and for cleaning as well um, also it says big trash, so I'm guessing this just goes in the skip like so, and there we go, that's fine. can also start picking the weeds there and making sure this is nice and okay. I don't know whether the platform, it's just got the sort of yellow line there, but it's not any sort of raised platform, so probably, uh... I don't know what it would be. I mean, because the the train that would come along the, the past, the car carriages would, well, be about that height anyway. So I don't know how you would get on it. I don't know if this is for passengers. I would assume it is because it's got all these waiting points and whatnot. But at the moment, as you can see, it's, well, not, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's, what? I don't know how the design would be. There's no raised platform, no sunken track. So you wouldn't be able to board unless you've got like a step, which you don't think you would ever have. So, and there's also some freight wagons here. Could be an inspection thing, but then why would you have a ticket office? Anyway, let's not overanalyze something that is literally about picking up rubbish and moving it to another pile. So there we are. That goes in there. I wonder if we have to clean any more. I'm just scanning there. Ah, yeah, we've got some more big bits here as well. And place that in there. There is options for... What's that there? That's it. Uh, these? Dismantle. Do I really want to dismantle? Why, do I want to dismantle the train? Uh, the carriages, rather. Um. Oh, am I fixing it up? Oh, yeah, because the wheels are fairly garbage. Ah, right, I see. Yeah, they're actually damaged. Right. So there you go. So you don't have to press and hold like a lot of um, other such games. So that's fine. A wrench. Just remove all of those. And I guess we can... I don't know. Can we put more bits in? I have no idea. Anyway, we'll remove all those bits. And... Oh, I've got some more rubbish in there. Just going to go around. See, I'm removing all that. It requires crowbars to get that bit off. So crowbar. One, two, three. Ah, right. Okay. So let's do that first. Um, it's asking us to rate the demo version at this stage. Oh, it says reward unlocked. Hmm, that might be one of the new maps in the 
final version of the game, but anyway, I'm going to go around there and get rid of that, and all these bits there, and yeah, we can actually crowbar that as well, so that's good. We have a universal tool now. We can not only take wood off the edge, we can also smash the broken bits of glass, which is good. Um, I guess we'll have to pick that up. Uh, hands, that is certainly a metal, so that can go recycling in there, and hopefully that will... Yeah, that's actually some, some money as well. So actually, you can, by just coming here, just recycling, you can probably make some some money i'm pressing q to see what else we've got ah there you go so a lot of it is obviously just this massive lumps of concrete here and uh, can we pick that up and just get it in a little bit further um i think we're gonna have to go around aren't we pick that up and it does say clear so we'll clear the skip and it does cost some money i'm gonna get rid of these benches because they are fairly garbage so we'll get rid of all of those and this one certainly has seen better days um, right, so these boxes we will pick up and put in the ox cardboard recycling, which will go in there, and job done, yeah, and, oh, it says minus 200, minus 200, why, why is that? I'm guessing I'm just going to have to dump it in the, in the big one here, but obviously that's recently just been filled, although it wasn't full to capacity, this bag can go in there as well. Once we've got this bit done, obviously we'll go around and we will pick up some of the... Uh, sorry, get rid of some of the graffiti that's on the wall. Um, some of this black bag here. So I'll put it near the door there and I'll do the same to this one here. Anything else I'll uh, check out. So that crate has to go. I wonder if I can just put it out the window. Yes, we can. So that saves us a bit of a journey there. That can be picked up. I don't know if these... We, do we want to... Do we want to? Oh, you can throw them, can you? Oh, so you can. Um, these ones, I just press Q and it'll tell us if these, any of these are rubbish. And apparently it does say they're rubbish. Um, so yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to go through that window. And indeed it does not. So we'll have to take it to the door and then out there and I'm totally stuck now. <laughs> there we go. So all of this has to go over here and then throw. There you go. So, ah, so we can pick it up and just sort of launch it over there. And yeah, because it is... Uh, quite heavy we can't launch it very far and see how far that can go uh, to be fair we might as well just run and place it because well it's a bit better for us it can get picked up and placed there as I said this is only the first level of the game and obviously there'll be more onwards I saw one of them which is like a like a toxic one there's a lot of like radiation barrels and other things around which um, I can't imagine how that's gone around but there you are we are in a perilous time so who knows, anyway, so I'm just checking out around here. A couple more bits of wood which we can dump in. Obviously, you can get... There's another space here for the for the skip if we really wanted to, but we don't really need to do it at the moment. This is certainly not very... <laughs> the load balance on that was fairly poor. And we've got two green bags here, so we know that we can go around the back and place them in here. Although, because of the distance, I might place another one. Yes, I can actually place one around here. So, let's place a mixed one in here. Oh, sorry, no. Um, sell that one, and we get money back. And then, segregated. That's what we want to. So, we'll open up uh, that. Hang on. That one, that one, and that one. And then, the green bag will go in there. And I can actually hear it's like glass as well. So, that's pretty good. So, we'll do a bit of a scan. And apparently, that door has seen better days. I don't know why. Um... We need a crowbar to dismantle it, so we'll do that, and that's now removed. Ah, and actually automatically places the new one there, and we can do the same thing for the toilet and for the sink on the outside, and that's now generated some glass. If I shake it, no, nah, it's just when we pick it up. We get, like, the noise of glass and porcelain and things like that, I'm guessing, and we'll pick up that. That one can go in there. I do find a lot of these simulators to be uh, quite a relaxing experience, although they are, after all, taskings. That's all it is. It's, um, they've all got the same sort of thing, um, same sort of idea. And uh, let's, uh, let's sort this one out here, because this is like a fairly big one to sort. So smash all of these. You see they're all breaking them down. And then that's already done. These are sorted. So we can pick up those bits. And the tyres we can't. But there's something up there, and I don't know what it is. But I'm guessing, because of the way that's jutted out, there's going to be some some dev tomfoolery going on and some garbage back there. And No, there isn't, so oh, fair enough, fair enough. Um, but I did pick it up at an angle. I'm going to buy a container here and have it as a mixed container because, well, quite frankly, there's a lot to go in and I'd rather do it from here. And there we go. So we're currently on to, well, that would be 62% completed, you can see, on the left-hand side there. 
so that's okay. Doing quite well so far. Oh, nice little cash reward. Uh, the cash, I believe, obviously you need to, well, we will be buying stuff in uh, probably quite a, uh, probably a but a moment, actually. We're quite well ahead on cleaning this thing up. And we'll uh, do this thing up, but we'll try, we're going to try and get as close to 100% as we possibly can. But there's still a lot of cleanup to happen. Um, yeah, is that something there? It looks like it should be something to pick up, but it doesn't look like, no. Um, we'll go in here, we've got another bag. I'll put that there. The money as well and the experience that you get, you will use to... Um, let's pick up that and pick up all of this. And Yeah, there we are. You will use to unlock um, different equipment. And such so yeah it's hard to hard to tell which is the rubbish ah so there's graffiti there that says dismantle we need a crowbar so I'm guessing oh yes and does that put some glare ah, that's actually puts the glaze windows in so that's good so we'll go around and we'll do that so there we are so that looking much better already I'll pick up all of this stuff while run because we can still pick up some of it like the sort of dead ivy or uh, creeping stuff while we've got this here and um, that will be rubbish surely no it's not rubbish it's oh but there's certainly rubbish down here so we'll put all this fix of brick up like i say a lot of these well the majority of the simulator games are just you know taskings just you know doing monotonous menial tasks that you know you would otherwise want to be paid for um you know like cleaning up rubbish in some in some cases in this game toxic waste but yeah um it's something quite relaxing at times about it and obviously the subject matter also helps i uh i'm a fan of locos trains uh platforms and things like that i mean i you know don't hang around them or anything but <laughs> uh, we need a broom apparently for that one so we'll just brush this away oh no that says brush i'm guessing ah a broom there we go and we'll do that and while i'm on We'll go for a crowbar and do that up, and we'll do this one. Hmm. Remove that, and there you go. Yes, yeah, so you have to remove all of that first. We'll go over to the broom, and then we'll broom up that, and then this one here. So this, the way this works is you do have to actually look over. But a very clever thing I find is that once you get a certain wave completion, it will disappear like that. So it means that, unlike a lot of games, and... Um, particularly pointing at things like um, uh, House Flipper um, where you might miss a tiny 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 bit and you are obviously penalised for it because you can't find out where it is it's happened many a time before for me anyway so we'll clean that up there we've cleaned up the majority of that oh there's a little bit up there and uh, hands we don't need to well, we'll pick up some of this stuff here bring it out and this is obviously all rubbish that we'll we'll probably end up getting rid of we could if we wanted to i guess um you know keep some of it but i think a full a full cleanup is the way forward i'm going to scan in here it, it says here like you know we can place stuff there but it doesn't tell me what you would want to place but you can see all of this stuff here this is where we can buy things so like cctv cameras and vending machines and stuff we'll just do what we can in but a moment anyway we'll get this outside and put it in the put it in the skip which is actually out the back that's the worst thing because all this is now just rubbish i'll tell you what i will clear the skip and then sell it like so and then place a mixed one in there because obviously we've got all of these different ones at least you can pick stuff up and you know get rid and buy and sell all of the buy and sell the different disposal containers obviously money is also a bit of an issue though because at the moment we are currently on six grand although we've just got a couple of grand uh, it says rewards unlock yeah so we start with 10 grand so a lot of this is obviously just rubbish that we have to clear out and then upcoming reward is three grand so hopefully by just cleaning this out we're getting these different milestones here which is which is good so looking around oh there's still a little bit left i was going to say most of that is now gone and once that once this is clear i think what we'll do is we will cv hmm. i'll uh, have a quick look okay quite different from what we start with hmm it does say on the bottom right, doesn't it, about what we need to place benches and chairs and trash cans. Okay, so what I'll do is go to, I believe, a sponge, yes, and then we'll obviously clean up all of this here as well. And we'll go around, and hopefully that'll disappear once yet, once we get to a certain point. So we'll go to this one here, and I don't know how this was, this was behind a vending machine, so it's, uh, they've obviously shifted it to do that, and we'll get rid of that bit there. I wonder if there's bits that I've missed, and you can see the bar going up 
to show the percentage of completion and then that's done and then see this is problematic because it's actually sprayed like that so we have to clean up the, each individual sort of letter but as long as we get the majority of it like that it then disappears so pretty happy with that don't think there's anything to do about that which is a shame so that's fine that's all clear and press Q and it'll scan and I'm not seeing anything on the inside so we'll go to the outside now and there will be oh yeah there's some more stuff there and ah it's actually so that's been graffitied and then some stuff sprayed over the top so we'll clean that up there we go uh, come around the back oh it seems a bit of a shame to do that as much as is a for all graffiti well it was colorful at least don't know what it actually said i wasn't really paying too much attention to it and let's just un graffiti this um, when you get more skills and stuff, you can unlock like different pieces of equipment that which uh, speed up things like rail, like, like unlock a grinder to clean up the rails a bit better and things like that. Because apparently you have to sand, uh, sand, they sand the rails if they're like really rusty. Don't know if that's a thing, uh, but there you are. So let's just clean that up there, and then there's a bit more here. I don't know if the game goes over different. I was going to say eras, but I don't think I don't think eras would be a thing for it. I think it's more locations whether you've got like uh, american stations european stations japanese etc there is some tool tips to indicate that that might be the case but i don't actually know get rid of that one and oh just a little bit to clean up in here and let's press q and that'll scan and it says items to pick one but that's just our bolt cutters really um which I can't actually pick up for some reason. Strange. Um, I wonder where this thing to pick up is. Nothing around there. So it must be, I'm guessing, around the back. Aha, there we go. Okay, so that's fine. We're going to press Q here. Seems to be okay. Right, so what we'll do is do this one then, which says bathroom elements 3 and sinks 1. That says around here, so we can place it outside if we want to. So we press tab, and this opens up our um, opens up our thing to buy. Uh, G N E R. That's uh, what I named the company. Uh, generic Northeastern Railway. We went with. Uh, let's go with probably. Well, we're gonna go down to sinks, and oh, you've got all manner of things. So we'll say buy there, and then I want to go for where's the toilets? Bathroom elements. Uh, we'll say. Um, probably just uh, one of those and what's this a soap dispenser and a hand dryer we could probably go for those yes so I'll buy and then buy and then I don't want to finish I want to go yeah that's fine so we can press number two and we can place this we can also rotate it as well but we'll place that at the back there like it was although it's still oh oh hang on that's uh <laughs> yeah perhaps not in the right place that's a little bit better uh, over to the sink so not all oh, that's actually a hand dryer so place a hand dryer there hang on where's the door the doors there there's a hand dryer there we'll place a sink in probably just the opposite side although I have a feeling that we probably have to place the sink on the outside but I think having the hand dryer on the inside makes no sense but there you go we'll place it about there and we need one more bathroom element I believe yes we do so back over to tab and to you see we've managed to complete all the tasks for the level so that's good go back down to bathroom elements and we've got soap dispenser so we'll buy one of those which for some reason you see the button's a bit dodgy it doesn't yeah doesn't go there properly we'll put a soap dispenser up there and that's that completed so we can close that door and there you go so that is now all done excellent i will go here and press q and scan and nothing is actually popping up so that's fine i was going to get rid of these well, there's no real point in here then it's furniture trash can and decorations this is a utility room so we will after all then place some like, sort of benches and chairs no trash cans food machines and decorations it's asking to place decorations i mean it doesn't really seem right to place a decoration in here but we'll go for well what was it saying furniture six of so let's go for furniture and i think the metal racks won't See, the button's a bit dodgy when you're over the art, when you're over the text. No, it's not. It's even there as well. I have no idea then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why not? And then press one. 
and then we'll go for one two three four five darn it <laughs> um typical um yes one six there as well trash can and utility so that's a wheel wheel basket i've never heard <laughs> what i would know as a wheelie bin or wheeled bin or whatever known as a wheeled basket hmm it does say trash can but i don't know if we can get away with this rotate it round rotating is pretty easy as well i can go in there yep that's fine and then decorations basically so decorations which are just plants at this stage by the look of it um i assume the rest won't work smoke sensor we would probably want in here anyway don't want any of these other things furniture we've already got there seems to be a limited number of elements for this one i assume perhaps wrongly perhaps wrongly that this is can we not place a smoke oh we can't place a smoke alarm in here okay um i assume perhaps wrongly that yeah, you can only place these in certain areas. So these are not really... Oh, you can place it outside, weirdly. Um, don't think I'd want it in outside. Can I place it inside? Oh, yeah, I can place it inside. Um, well, this actually this place actually requires a clock anyway, so there you go. Uh, it actually requires two clocks, and I've also just noticed that graffiti on the outside. Yeah, well, there's a limited number of elements to buy. I wonder if that changes with the full version of the game. You never really know with these sort of games. Oh, there's a little bit of rubbish there. I'll pick that up. And scanning seems to be fine. So decorations in here then. I'm not going to mess around too much because it is, after all, utility room. It's for staff only. So just some potted plants of some kind. I mean, there's your utility room, pretty much. Um, job done. So I will place that there for now. Close that and scan. Pick that back up. I'm going to place it over here. Because I think this does require some decorations. Yes, it does require decorations. We'll do inside this here, which is, I would assume, the ticket office. Does the door close? Mm, well, it would do if we had a door, which we don't. So, there you are. So, benches and chairs, one. Furniture, three. Electronic equipment, three. And trash can. So, what I'll do, I'll go for the trash can first. And it would just be a metal basket there. And we want, it would be benches and chairs. We're going to have to have a proper, like, I would say office chair. Something like that. A uh, recliner office chair is quite nice. We do want some... Parcher boards, no... Furniture, yes, we want like a nice desk, although that table is not very good, but we'll get one of those, and that should do us for now. Let's go on to four then, and I'll place this, hmm, um, rotate it probably to there, like that, and then place it in like so. It's not a great place, actually, to pick it back up. I'm just trying to get it so it's in the corner there. That's okay, but it doesn't seem right, though, does it? It doesn't seem very good at all. I'm just going to scroll through some of the rest of this to see... What we've got benches and chairs there's nothing in there trash can we've got that one food machines we'll place that later ticket machines later departure boards no decorations no electronic equipment we do want um i would say yes a microphone and a desktop and we've already got a smoke sensor furniture yeah that's actually the only thing we can really use so there's no real proper like office desk which is disappointing although maybe you unlock them later on but well at the moment you can't have them so it's a bit of a shame so we'll rotate this around it's like it's going to be our office chair for this thing here we'll go for a smoke sensor which um i mean putting a smoke sensor there would be you know i mean that that would set that would be set off all the time so i'll place it over there in case it does get a bit of a problem there just hit the four rating so pretty good because we've just uh, went past i think it was 86 percent our next is 98 percent so pretty good trash can can go in here this corner like so and then we'll place our sort of controls that's a microphone which can go there off to an angle 
and then this is like a control assist thing thing that goes there yeah that's about right okay so that is almost done it does require some more furniture so we'll go down to furniture we've got a drawer we'll buy one of those we'll place office wardrobe because why not and that should be about it so we'll go to number one that's going to fit there and that quite nicely i think and yes it does so we'll put that right there and then number two which we'll place probably right on the back wall there should look quite good although probably there would be better but mm, there and that's actually okay i'm actually okay with that when you look through yeah that's that's not too bad that's not too bad. Okay, fine. Uh, in this one, it's benches and chairs and trash cans and all of that sort of thing. I think we'll spend a little bit of time outside in the wild because why not? And this is where we need all manner of things. So four benches and chairs, trash can, departure board and clock. Okay, so we'll go for... I keep pressing scan rather than anything else. So we've got big oak bench, big cherry bench and small oak bench. We had... I think there was a small oak bench before. So one, two, three, four... And that'll do us for now. We need... A t was it ticket? No, it was a departure board, wasn't it? So we've got a... Probably a, d a traditional one would be quite nice. And you've got these other ones, modern. We need some trash cans. We're going to go with the concrete one and then two. And... I think it was a clock as well. And we'll use a side-hanging sort of station clock there, which should look quite good. So we'll press number four. And then we'll place this on the side. Although, it would be nice to place it... Where can I where can I actually place this thing? Can you place it on the side here? Oh, that would be really good if I could place it there. It actually looks quite small as well, so hmm. Oh well. So I'll place it in place it there. There you go. Yeah, that's a reasonable place for it to go, I would I would say. Um oh we don't actually need to buy anything else. And then there's just these benches now which will rotate round like so. You can see it does snap as well. And I think what we'll do is have it so Obviously, that's the name of the place. We'll have it in pretty much a straight line as much as we can. So one, two, three, four. Now, I think, yeah, the gap isn't exact between the two, but that's fine because um, I actually want to move this one. I think that one I moved a little bit off. So I'll place in there, and then I want to pick that one up put it closer because the bin will go oh ah oh. I was gonna place it there so like that's a shame oh well I was gonna place it over the cover so you know that'll be a bit better so instead what I'll have to do is move these a little closer like that and I'll put them on the ends a, a bit better and this one is fine there so three can't go there rotate around a little bit that can go there that can go up to there that's a bit better yep yeah. and then this one um i guess we'll just have to put on the end it would be nice for it to be the same as this. I guess the other option is me placing it there. And then there. Yeah, that'll do. That's okay. Okay, number two, another departure board. And I'll rotate it around. And to be fair, we've already got a departure board. It's there though, isn't it? I'll place a departure board in here. So that should be that one done. I'm going to clear that and sell the skip because I think that's everything. I think everything has been everything has been used. So we'll clear all of those. I'm just going to go in this corner, scan, and yeah, there's nothing over there. There's some electrical panel over here as well. Hmm. Anyway, so that's that cleared. We'll go around the back, but realistically, we should be okay. I'm not going to get rid of them two. These two um, waste disposals in case there's a bit missing so in here then we need loads of different things so let's go for food machines and ticket machines first so going down to food machines we'll place in i think it was one of these ones here the motion call one the vending machine i'm going to say cold beverage machine we're going to get one of those and we're going to get a 
There's a vintage vending machine, but that wouldn't go well with that one. So we'll go with a snack machine there. We'll go to ticket machines and we'll get, you've got ticket machine, British ticket machine and American ticket machine. So we'll just go with the, the standard ticket machine. Um, and we'll also go for another clock. We'll get the same clock as we got previous, which is on that wall there. Although I am going to pick that up and place it on this side because I want the clock on the exact other side. So you can always see the time because this is where the ticket machine will go. So number three, which will then rotate round and then place in there like so. And that seems to fit in there quite nicely. This is where we had the vending machine, which for some reason is defaulted to being backwards. And we'll place that in there like so. Yeah, I think that actually does stick out the back, but we'll go to the other side and see if that is the case. No, it actually doesn't, so we are fine. Over to the other vending machine and then we'll place that in next to it like... No, we cannot. Why can we? Why can we not? Ah, uh, because of that pillar. We might be able to move this along then. Yes, we can. So we place it there. No, oh, is it just generally just doesn't like being there? Looks to be okay. What we'll do is we'll make sure we've got like a bit space there place that further actually you know what that might look better in the corner it really doesn't want to go in this corner does it it's not liking it at all it's closer you can get then that one goes in that'll do excellent okay so um those are now in we need three trash cans so we will go ahead and buy that Hmm. Neither of them really fit. That's sort of... That's for outside. That's a bit... Well, something you probably wouldn't want... want well, both of them are just sort of more... I wouldn't say industrial, but more... Um, not something that the public would generally, I guess, use. Uh, we'll go for probably a wheelie basket and two metal baskets, because why not? Uh, the wheelie one can go in here. I'm going to rotate it around like so, because it's recycling like that. Yep, that seems to fit in quite nicely. We'll place the plant a bit closer to the door there. Then I'll place the trash can there. And then another trash can can go in the corner like so. Because that's realistically where you're going to, you know, you want to fling stuff out before you leave. Or, you know, if you come with the ticket, you get your tickets. Oh, I've actually got some crisp packet in my pocket or whatever. It can go in there. So that's fine. And happy with that one. Let's uh, go and play scan again. I'm just looking on the bottom left and it shows you percentages. I'm guessing that's how much you've recycled. Perhaps, perhaps, but this is uh, new. So we need six benches and some decorations. So we're going to do the benches and chairs. For the inside one, we're not going to go with those ones. We're going to go with probably the orcs, or the, I actually prefer the cherry, and I think that would look quite nice in here, but um, we'll go with one, two, three, four, five, six of these big orc benches, and decorations I'll do in a bit. So over to one. And we could place them around the outside. That is a possibility. Um, if we just place them like here in each of like, each of these panelling sections, we could have one like that. I mean, they'll sit in there. That sits in there okay, yeah. And then it seems to be, you know, have a couple in the centre, maybe. One there and one there seems to work out well. And then, mm, do you want to place another one elsewhere? I think I could probably fit one in there. Oh, no, because of the where that pillar is it wouldn't work so we'd have to place it in this corner like so mm, not a big fan don't know if it works out ah, i'll do for now uh this is after all the demo i'm not gonna you know stress over it too much and we'll go one two three and then probably No Japanese peace lady. That's close to. Followed by benches and chairs. No furniture. Uh, see, we only have cherry tables. We don't have the orc ones, which is a shame. So. It also doesn't really want to place. Yeah, so it's like office only, I guess, for that one. Oh well. Um, so these ones, we'll place them sort of in between the bits here because it'll look quite nice, I think. And then we've also got these, which are plants there. And 
don't know where we'll place the other one. It seems too sort of uniform this stage. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they're like that. It's it's a bit too it's not very organic, if that makes sense, even though we have you know we're playing organic stuff. Oh, level complete. So level being completed, you manage to clean it all, you can keep exploring, go back to the main menu. We're gonna continue because I wanna finish some of this off. We'll place this one in the corner and then in between we'll place that one there okay so that is the station 100% completion so we close the door there and we have managed to renovate this thing we can clear the skip and sell it I'm assuming that you don't need to do this once you've completed it it's just you know part and parcel of it but there you go I just wanted to make sure we are pretty much 100% so from the beginning this is where we come up with our truck um, you can see it's like all cracked paving. We haven't redone that, which is a shame. But we do have this little sort of fire storage there, which makes sense because we have got a wood-burning stove in here with apparently out a chimney. Um, we come along, sort of picket fence, which is a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but that's all fine. Come around the station, which is now pretty much sorted. Obviously, we've got our um, ticket office type thing here, and we're going to go past, you can see obviously some wagons there, we've got our departure board, the original ones, some waste disposal areas, we've got some seating for people waiting for, well, whatever happens to come along here, more rubbish there, and again, all of this is sort of just still needs a bit of a clean up but it can be operated in this area here this is our utility room which we had to break open with these bolt cutters which i can't actually pick up now that i've used them for some reason and we managed to get the power back on you can see oh no you can't see because i can't open that shame um we also have these as well which we could could actually place if we needed to like that there you go. Why not? Uh, so yes, we had that. We obviously we put all these. We moved all the r rubbish around here and put these shelvings in and that sort of thing and some trees because apparently that's all we really have. Fixed up the toilet around the back here, so we can open that up. And it's a little bit cramped. I mean, you're probably gonna whack your knee on that when you're standing up or whatever. But it's it's in. I mean, we could realistically move that a little bit to the left. That's actually. Yeah, it's a little bit better. There you go. And close that up. And then back over to the main office, which you can see obviously we've got clocks on there to see when the train's coming. Then we've got in here some, just close that. We've got directly ahead, obviously your snack and your beverage, which is motion cola light, no added sugar. And also, are those changing colour? Yes, they are. They are very much illuminating. Hmm. And uh, some quite low res, low res stuff in there, which I'm going to guesstimate: Snickers, Twirl, Turkish Delight, perhaps Kit Kats, Hula Hoops, Twix, maybe. Not too sure what those are. Um, don't know what that one is either. Drifter, maybe. Quavers, Monster Munch. Yeah. Either way, that's that's some that's some like postal two Lores shopping. <laughs> oh, good grief! Obviously, ticket ticket machine in here, which is quite good. Again, you can't really read anything on there, but we've got all the benches and everything else in here. And then finally, the office, which is well, it's it's the best we can do, uh, you know, on short notice. And also, we haven't plugged it in, which is which is not great. And then there's the stove with the uh, yeah the the, the hmm. yeah that just goes through the ceiling. Anyway, no door on that either. There you are. That is our uh, renovation of Cleanville. Oh, no, there you go. They, they, the stove does actually pop up the top there, so that's fine. And that has been a bit of train station renovation. Finish the level. Yes. Thank you for playing the demo version of the game. There you go. And we have a little sweep through. It's going to show us our nice work. Just realise there's a weather vane on there with a cockerel on the top as well. Hmm. That was Cleanville. So yeah, we will click finish. 43 minutes in order to uh, complete that. 100% completion, 5 star rating. But, that as I said, was the demo version of the game. It is still one of these, you know, typical simulator type games. It's taskings. It's you just cleaning up, sweeping up, doing things up. The moment to moment is not that brilliant. It, you know, it, it's nothing challenging or taxing or has anything, you know, of, of great import. But, like I said, the subject matter is normally what carries these things. I am going to check out, hopefully, the full game when it comes out, and there you go. You also have, like, a little train set here, which doesn't seem to work, and I assume that when you, when you, like, build, when you, uh, 
Can you build up? Can you build it somehow? It doesn't say. It says reset. Yeah. I'm guessing flying camera is P. Oh, player's camera. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that you can build this up. Oh, there you go. Looks like you can get like different wagons and stuff like that. Build your train. Oh yeah, there you go. There's our wagons and there we go. Create and there you go. Oh, there we go. And we can we can accelerate. Oh, cool. Perhaps you get more as you build on. That's these two lights are off and the one on the left's off. So yeah, there you go. Let's put up to max speed. You can see it's sort of heading round. And oh, we've already got a derailment. We've already got a derailment. <laughs> as I said, it is a demo, so you know have to be uh, cautious. That, uh, understanding of the fact that oh, this is where we can level up. So what we've got uh, that is looks to be a sort of vacuum. Got like spray guns, a roller, grinder, a wrench, and this is like more the oh, I think it's like scan radius. Ah, I see. Right. Okay. Fair enough. So we'll get that one there and get I don't know maybe that one there and and that one oh, that's it that's all I can afford because I've only I only had five stars. Um, yeah, but there you are. Bit of train station renovation. If you like, we'll see. I'll put the links for the full game in the description. If you want to see more, then by all means, let me know. Hope it's been a quite a relaxing and chill one. As I said, I think at these times, that sort of thing is um, very much welcome. Well, all, always welcome, but especially uh, these days. But yeah, I uh, will be checking out some more. And uh, like I said, if you want to see more, then let me know. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments. Take care and generic partings.